Assalamualaikum and hi kids. Today we are going to continue our lesson about heat and temperature. So these are the objectives that you have to accomplish for today's lesson. In this video, we will learn the effects of heat on solid, liquid and gas. Let's see a demonstration on an activity to show the effects of heat on solid. Before heating, the metal ball can easily pass through the ring. Then, the metal ball is being heated for a few minutes. Now you can see that after being heated, the metal ball can no longer pass through the ring. The metal ball then is cooled under the tap water. And after being cooled, the metal ball can pass through the ring again. The observation that can be made for this activity is the iron ball cannot pass through the ring after it is being heated, but it can pass through the ring again after being cooled. The reason or inference is because the iron ball expands when being heated or gains heat and contracts when being cooled or loses heat. And the conclusion is solid expands when it gains heat and contracts when it loses heat. Now let's see an activity to show the effects of heat on liquid. First of all, the conical flask is filled with colored water. Attach the glass tube to the one hole cork stopper, then close the conical flask with the cork stopper. Then mark the initial water level on the glass tube. Then immerse it into the hot water. We can see that the level of colored water in the glass tube rises. Now, we put it inside the cold water. We can see that the level of the colored water in the glass tube falls. Let's look at another similar activity to see the effects of heat on liquid. Conical flask A filled with colored water is being heated, but conical flask B is being immersed in ice. So the observation for conical flask A is the level of colored water in the glass tube rises. The reason or inference is colored water expands when heated or when it gains heat. And for conical flask B, the level of the colored water in the glass tube falls. The reason or inference is colored water contracts when cooled or when it loses heat. And the conclusion is liquid expands when it gains heat and contracts when it loses heat. Now let's look at the activity to show the effects of heat on gas. When we immerse the empty bottle with the balloon attached to its mouth, the balloon expands. But when we immerse the bottle in the cold water, the balloon shrinks. Let's repeat and see that again. Immerse in hot water, the balloon expands. Immerse in cold water, the balloon shrinks. 
is because the empty bottles are not really empty, but they actually contain gas inside of it. So the observation that can be made for this activity is the balloon expands when the empty bottle is heated or gains heat and the balloon shrinks when the empty bottle is cooled or loses heat. The reason or inference is gas inside the bottle expands when heated or gains heat and contracts when cooled or loses heat. And the conclusion for this activity is gas expands when it gains heat and contracts when it loses heat. Let's see another activity to show the effects of heat on gas. We put a drop of colored water inside a small tube. Then we attach the tube to an empty bottle. When the bottle is immersed in hot water, the gas inside the bottle expands and pushes the drop of colored water up. And when the bottle is being immersed in cold water, the gas inside the bottle contracts and pulls the drop of colored water down. Immersed in hot water, up. Immersed in cold water, down. Another example of the effects of heat on gas is by immersing a dented ping pong ball into the hot water. The gas inside the ping pong ball will expand when heated and it will push the wall of the ping pong ball to its original shape. Now, let's learn about the importance of expansion and contraction principle of materials. There are gaps between connectors on a metal bridge. The reason or inference for this is so the bridge will not break when it expands and contracts alternately with the changes of weather. The gaps between connectors on the railway tracks. The reason or inference for this is so the railway tracks will not push against each other and bend when it expands in hot weather. In cold weather, the gap widens because the tracks contract. And in hot weather, the gap becomes small because the tracks expand. The space between tiles. The reason or inference for this is so the tiles will not break when they expand during hot weather. Electric cables are hung loosely. But why? The reason or inference is so the wires will not break when it contracts during cold weather. If we have a jar with a lid that is too tight, we can immerse the lid of the jar in hot water as shown in the picture here. The lid will expand and make it easier to open the jar. So this is the summary of what we have learned today. Solid, liquid and gas expands when it gains heat and contracts when it loses heat. And please remember the application of expansion and contraction principle of materials. And these are some examples of questions about heat and temperature.
That's all for today. Thank you.